Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Marketplace PayPal Parallel Express Checkout Payment for Magento 2. Using this extension, the customers would be able to easily make payments on uh, your Marketplace store and uh, the payment from the customer would be uh, dynamically uh, distributed within the admin and the sellers involved. So uh, let's go ahead and let's see how this uh, payment extension works for the marketplace. And uh, this module also has the uh, functionality of making an online refund uh, via both the admin and the sellers and with the ability to make a full or a partial refund to the customers. So let's get ahead and let's see what uh, different settings are there in the admin backend and how this uh, uh, payment method uh, can be used by the customers on your store and uh, before that let's go to the admin backend and let's see what the different uh, configuration settings we have for this marketplace paypal parallel express checkout payment for magento 2. well after uh, the successful installation of this uh, extension of this uh, payment extension uh, the admin would have to navigate through uh, uh, stores configuration and uh, after that uh, the admin would have to navigate to the sales uh, menu option and on the sales uh, block you'll find the payment methods now click on the payment methods so as to display all the payment methods that are there now after they have installed the successfully this extension uh, you'll see this extension being displayed so here you can see the marketplace paypal express checkout payment has been uh, displayed in the payment method section uh, in the admin panel so we just need to open that up to see what different uh, settings are there so uh, here uh, as you can see that the admin can enable this solution uh, for use at the uh, checkout time if uh, the admin selects it as no then this uh, checkout uh, then this uh, payment method would not be uh, visible to the customers at the time of checkout uh, you can set it as a sandbox mode uh, for uh, testing purposes else if you want to make it live you can uh, choose to select no you can set the title of uh, this payment method and uh, this uh, title would be visible to the customers uh, while they are selecting the payment method and the checkout time after that the admin would have to enter his uh, PayPal, PayPal ID uh, then he will have to enter his PayPal application ID his uh, PayPal API username and the API password lastly the admin would enter the PayPal API signature so these are uh, fine uh, things are uh, certainly important here and uh, these are to be fit by the admin in the first place so as to configure this uh, payment method for the marketplace store and uh, after that uh, the uh, admin will have to select uh, like he can select uh, like to accept uh, like uh, the acceptable countries uh, where from uh, the payment can be uh, accepted so you can select all countries or if you select the specific countries then you can select any of the uh, 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 countries uh, that you wish uh, to uh, take the uh, payment from so uh, for now we'll just select it as uh, all out countries and we'll let uh, as so after setting all these settings uh, uh, as this is just a demonstration to show you how we can uh, configure the uh, settings for this uh, extension from the back end in the first place and after that we'll show you how the sellers can uh, like configure their on their end and how the buyers would uh, uh, like uh, make use of this extension for purchasing the seller's product uh, using the PayPal Express checkout uh, uh, method so uh, after filling up all these information here uh, uh, we'll just save the configuration and now let's go to the front end and let's uh, log in 
as a CLFS and let's see what uh, settings we need to make there. And now we've already logged into uh, the sellers panel. As you can see here, we have the marketplace dashboard on the left hand side. And uh, now we need, just need to go to the seller profile menu option here. And uh, uh, we'll go to the edit profile information section here. And uh, we'll just navigate to the last uh, section there uh, where we have the uh, payment uh, details section here. We have the set PayPal, PayPal detail here. So we just need to enter uh, like the seller needs to enter his PayPal ID here in the first place. After that, he'll uh, enter his first name and the last name. Uh, just uh, uh, to make a note note here, uh, kindly uh, use the correct uh, use the correct PayPal ID here. Your correct first name for the PayPal and the last name. And after that, you can enter your PayPal merchant account ID here and. Uh, if you have any uh, like uh, if you if if you want to uh, check this thing uh, like in in a deeper perspective you can check our uh, uh, user guide uh, and the demo uh, I've already added that uh, in the description below so you can go there and you can um, completely check how this uh, Accenture works and uh, you can get more details on how to get the PayPal ID or the merchant ID and the other stuff there so uh, the seller needs to set up his uh, PayPal details uh, under his account. Uh, that's the thing, and he'll just save his PayPal details from here. So uh, we have already uh, set this up. Uh, this is already a test environment here, and uh, we have already saved uh, the seller details as well. So we'll just uh, go ahead and we'll see how the buyer would be able to make a purchase using the. Uh, marketplace uh, PayPal parallel Express checkout uh, from Magento to this extension that we have created for the marketplace so uh, now let's go to the bars and let's see how uh, the buyer uh, uh, will uh, make a purchase uh, for the seller's product all right uh, now uh, the buyer uh, just needs to uh, add uh, products into his cart in the first place so uh, let's uh, uh, put some products into the cart uh, it can be a single seller product or a multiple seller product that doesn't uh, uh, has that, that that doesn't um, matter much uh, because uh, this payment gateway uh, splits the payment from the customer dynamically into the admin and the sellers that are involved all right so let's get ahead and let's uh, add uh, the products uh, into the cars into the cart first I've added a single product and let me go and uh, let me add some more products to the cart and uh, let me add uh, uh, all right let me add this one as well all right so we have already added three products into the cart and uh, now the bar would uh, click on the go to checkout button so as to uh, go ahead and make a payment the uh, buyer would then select his uh, shipping method and uh, he can see the order summary as well on the right hand side here and uh, he'll select his uh, shipping method first and uh, then hit the next button so as to uh, go to the next step uh, of the checkout now here uh, the buyer can see the webcool marketplace uh, paypal express payment uh, method here and the buyer will select this method and after that hit the make payment button and the buyer would be redirected to the PayPal website uh, for making the purchase so uh, we'll be redirected uh, in a few seconds to the uh, PayPal website itself and uh, here you can see uh, that uh, uh, we can see our uh, uh, order order summary here and uh, we can see uh, the products that we have added into the cart and we can see the flat rate option and the item prices there then we have the fee the, the commission is there item price per it's twenty dollars and uh, we have the other seller product as well the red shirt and uh, that's for that so all the total 
price that uh, needs to be uh, paid is $728 so the customer just needs to uh, go ahead and enter his uh, login PayPal login email ID and the password and hit the login button after that now this is an easy way for the customers because uh, actually we have a multiple number of uh, products uh, from the different sellers and uh, uh, this uh, this extension actually helps to uh, split the, the payment from the customer so this payment that we are going to make the 728 dollars would automatically be divided dynamically between the various multiple sellers and the admin so the sellers will receive their amount for their product and uh, the admin would be receiving the commission for each of the products there so uh, you can even uh, like uh, you can change the payment method as well if you want else you can just click the continue button directly uh, to make the payment and the paypal and after the payment has been made uh, you will be redirected back to uh, the uh, website there and you will be able to check your order details as well and the buyer would be able to see uh, the payment method that he had selected the webpool marketplace paypal express payment uh, method that he had selected and uh, he can see the various products that he had purchased as well and he can check his invoice as well if he wants because uh, the payment had been uh, made online so uh, the uh, invoice also gets uh, gets uh, like uh, gets uh, gets uh, get there so uh, so that was all uh, for the buyer section and uh, the admin can also uh, check the uh, like the transaction details uh, in the back end and for that uh, let's go to the admin section and let's see uh, the order details there and the transaction details as well so here we are uh, in the admin uh, back end panel we can see uh, the uh, grand total that was 728 that we uh, already paid and let's go ahead and let's see this uh, see the details of this order and uh, now here we can see uh, the order details are there now uh, you can see that the payment information has been displayed here and the order has been placed using the uh, US dollars so uh, and the items that we have ordered uh, like uh, we had two sellers here the wills Doe and the john Doe there uh, and we had a product of the admin as well so uh and uh, if the admin wants he can check the invoice uh, for this transaction because there will there are three products so there will be three invoices like uh, uh, that have been generated and uh, the admin can see the transaction details as well So we have the transaction ID is there uh, the transaction type was the capture uh, and uh, the complete transaction details can also be checked there as you can see here so uh, and that was all uh, about uh, the Magento to do marketplace uh, PayPal parallel Express checkout uh, extension and uh, hope you uh, hope this video was somehow uh, helpful to you if you need any more uh, information uh, then you can definitely check the uh, description below I've just provided the demo and the user guide for this uh, extension you can go and go ahead and check it on your own end so uh, thanks for watching the video and uh, if you have any queries or suggestions regarding the plugin you can always get back to us as support at the rate of webcool.com or you can drop uh, a reply at uh, webpool.uvdisc.com